Um, so it is Tuesday, October 6th, I think, and this is technically my first week back at school teaching. Um, yesterday I didn't have anything because I'm still working on my, oh, there goes my coffee machine. I'm still working on one of my contracts with one of my schools, like my, it's like called my employ, employ, employ du, du temps. That sounded horrible. Um, but anyways, it's basically like my, so basically I'm still working on my, like, my timetable for one of my schools. So today I'm going to the school to figure that out. And then I will start officially teaching on Thursday and Friday at my other two schools. So it looks like this year it's going to be, um, um, it's going to be Thursday and Friday at one school, Monday and Tuesday at another school, and then this year I'm going to be tutoring a lot more, um, like in person to make money. I'm not going to be nannying or babysitting because I just decided like I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, so anyways, so I'm just going to get ready for my appointment. I'm so tired because... I stayed up super late watching um, Emily in Paris, if you've ever watched it. It's a really cute show. Um, maybe I'll talk a little bit about more, a little bit more about it later. I guess a lot of French people are like pissed off about it, which is hilarious to me. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to get ready and have my coffee. And I will see you guys um, when I go to the rendezvous. Okay, I like really need to get it moving here, but this is like a good example of what I'm gonna be wearing to teach this year. Just like kind of a nice pair of jeans, sorry it's so dark. Um, a sweater, you know, a coat to wear because it's gonna be cold and rainy all winter, yay. And then maybe just like a little bit of jewelry to, you know, just give it a little, a little spice, you know what I'm saying? Um, okay, so I need to run. Also, I was doing my makeup and I was like, literally, why am I doing this? Um, I'm gonna have a mask on the whole time. So let's go and I'll see you guys probably after the meeting. I'm not really going to show you a lot of like me walking because I walk to work. Like I don't want to show where I live, obviously. I can't show anything in the schools. I'm not really like I don't really want to ask the teachers like, hey, do you want to be <laughs> do you want to be my YouTube video? Um, So I'm going to have to be like explaining a lot like you're going to be seeing this this face a lot this week. So um, let's go. <laughs> This is my least favorite part of the walk, is walking through this scary ass tunnel. <laughs> So I just got back. Everything went really well at the school. We literally just like went over my um, my timetable and it looks like it's gonna be pretty good. So I'm gonna have two hours on um, Monday and then four hours on Tuesday. And then of course there's always like planning and like breaks in between the classes and everything. So I think that's gonna be really good. Um, it was really cute. A lot of the kids in the hallway were like, Maddie's son, like hi. And I was like, eh. You know, I think it's more fun for me to work with kids who like really want to learn English and like they have that desire because then it's like, okay, great. Like I, I'm here to help you. You know what I'm saying? After, um, after I got done at school, I just went to Starbucks and I read a little bit there. I'm like way behind on my reading goal. If I want to make my 50 book goal, I'm like eight books behind. So basically for the rest of the year, I'm gonna have to read like two books a week. So if you have any like quick, easy reads that you would like to tell me about, please let me know. Um, but so I'm just gonna eat this and either read or do something else, go to the store, and then I'm gonna do some tutoring hours tonight. Okay, I know this is a very cute angle, um, but basically to round out my Tuesday, um, I am going to be doing some online tutoring hours. Hopefully as I get more in-person tutoring, I will do this less and less. Um, that's kind of the goal. Um, also in person, I'll get paid more. So I do have a my first tutoring session tomorrow with a kid. So I need to kind of figure out what I'm going to do. It'll be introductory and introductory. So I think I'm just going to kind of figure out like what he's about, what he likes, um, like what... oh. Someone's freaking calling me. Okay, bye. <laughs>
Okay, it is so beautiful out. I really was just planning on coming on a walk, but I'm so mad at myself for not bringing a book and reading. I didn't realize it was gonna be sunny. I thought it was gonna be maybe a little bit more um, overcast, but this is such a beautiful place. It's the Botanical bar Garden, um, like in the Bois du Boulogne near, near where I live. And it is so beautiful here. Like it's so peaceful. Like there's a bunch of plants and ponds and it's just such a nice place to come for a walk or to sit down and kind of hang out and read like it's not so much it's not really a park for like hanging out with your friends and doing like a picnic it really is more for just kind of like sitting and strolling and things like that um but one of the reasons i wanted to come back here today was i wanted to show you something that i noticed last time that i thought was kind of odd so i'm gonna see if i can go find some and i will show you in a second Oh, this could be a bad idea. Cuckoo. Okay, so the thing that I noticed last time I was here is there's literally cats everywhere. Look, there's this black and white one that I saw last time and I'll show you back in the other section there's like a ton of cats. Like where did they come from? Are these people's, like if you're missing a cat in the Paris area, it might be here, but there's like a water dish here. So I don't know if people in the park brought it or what, but there's like a ton of cats. I'll show you hopefully if I can find more, but um, just wild cats, you know, chilling in this. I mean, not a bad place to live. It's a beautiful park. I mean, if I was a cat, I would love to live here. This cat looks like it can literally kill me. Um, but definitely, sorry, I was just leaning down to see a cat, but definitely another, they're not like friendly cats, important note, like you don't want to approach them and be like, hi, and try to pet them, they definitely don't like humans, like they don't like to be touched or approached from what I can see. But just to, just to explain a little bit really fast, so basically on Wednesdays I will not be teaching in class because it's only half days at the middle schools that I teach at that's typical for France is it's a half day on Wednesday. So I'm gonna be tutoring and I haven't set up all my tutoring hours yet, like my in-person tutoring for kids. Um, so I'm gonna, I have a couple people that are interested that I need to like go see and like set up the specifics. But um, so, I but I didn't have anything planned for today. So I have a lot of administrative things to do. Um, like if, if it's your first week of teaching English in France, like if you're if you're looking at this video to figure out like what to expect, basically just kind of expect a lot of admin, a lot of like paperwork. You need to get your bank account in so you can get paid on time. Very important. Um, just like catch up with your um, profess, like your your colleagues, the secretary, things like that. So, anyways, but I didn't have anything else planned today, so I just decided to come enjoy this absolutely beautiful day. And this is. This is such a beautiful park. Like I wish I could like I mean it's it's just gorgeous. Anyways, um but I just wanted to give you a little bit update of an update of kind of like what my Wednesdays will look like in the future. Like obviously I'm not just going to be coming and chilling in a park all the time, especially as the weather gets worse, but um right now I can still take advantage of it. Oh, I just want to spend as much time outside, you know, as possible for sure. I didn't know that there was like a whole rose garden here. This is giving me like ladybird vibes when they're running in the in the rose garden. Oh, also, before I forget, I did look up the cat thing and I guess that make sure no one's behind me. Um there is some woman or there's like an association who takes care of the cats in the Bois du Boulogne like in total. Apparently there's like 150 cats um but there's 50 who live in this park and apparently they all have names so it's definitely a thing but that's very interesting which i mean it makes sense that there was like probably a lot of wild cats at one point and then they decided to like take care of them so just a little a little knowledge for you <laughs> It is Thursday.
Thursday morning about 8 30. I am officially walking so like this is my first day that I will be like actually teaching in class so I will let you know how it goes and what we do and things like that. Okay hello um so what happened today? Today is Thursday. Wish I could have filmed more. What's new? Um, okay, so today basically I went to school and my the professor I was supposed to work with, not a professor, he's a teacher. The teacher I was supposed to work with was sick. So I just went to another teacher's class and she, I just like kind of helped her, but she, you know, like she wasn't prepared for me. So she already had some things to do with her class. Um, but yeah, so there really wasn't a lot going on today as far as teaching. So my first like real day in the classroom was not my own real first day. So I have no idea if he will still be there tomorrow or if he'll be still be sick tomorrow. But I basically, I just came up with a really exciting video idea involving Emily in Paris, that show on Netflix. I came home from school and I did some Cambly hours, some online tutoring hours, and I've been working on my video, which involves like interviewing people, not to give too much away, um, but I need to like clean, I need to do laundry. There's like a lot of things I need to accomplish this afternoon. I need to do a lot of paper, some more paperwork. Um, yeah, so anyways, so I'm just gonna get that all together and then I will Catch you guys up later. Sorry there is not a lot of like action involved in this video. It's just a lot of me talking, but um, that's just like, that's, you know what? That's just what's up. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Good morning. Um, it's currently Friday and I just obviously woke up. Um, today, what do I have to do? I really need to exercise. Um... <laughs> Uh, what else? What else? What else? The teacher that I'm supposed to work with this morning is once again not there, so I don't have class till 2.30. My hair also looks insane again. Um, <laughs> but this is like one of my favorite parts of waking up is when I open the window, see how rainy and gray it is again. Great. Um, so this is like probably the first thing I do every morning is like, this is usually always full. Very random note, but my sister got me this hydro flask as a gift. And I feel like it's one of those things that you wouldn't really think of as like to get as a gift for someone. But I, this is one of those things that I use like every single day now. So it's great. Yeah, so I use an espresso machine and I'll just put the, you know, put the pod in. Obviously very simple and then put your little cup under here press this Very easy and that's pretty much the first thing I do in the morning. Um, I do try to recycle the pods because I, That's really not good for the environment Basically what I will do is I will have like a double shot with a little bit of oat milk. Um, I do use Oatly, but I feel like I keep seeing things on TikTok, you know, the most reliable source of information about the ingredients in Oatly. So I really need to look that up about like what's going on. I would love to make my own oat milk, but um, to be honest, there's just really not enough room in this kitchen. For, like, like we don't have a blender. And there's just not a lot of space in here for a lot of appliances, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so explaining about the gym. Okay, so basically to explain it, the gyms are currently closed in France. Things are locking down again, which like really, I know it's necessary, but it just, it stinks obviously. Um, but gyms are closed, so I have just like not been going to the gym, which is totally fine. You know, we can take a break, that's cool. But I do, like, I, I feel like I miss, like, and I've just been, like, going on walks, kind of like I said. Maybe I already explained this. Did I explain this on Wednesday? I don't know. But anyways, I've been, like, going on a few walks, but I feel like I really want to, like, actually kind of get it moving. So, um, one of my favorite forms of exercise is yoga because I can just do it here and it's 
really simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I tend to film it sometimes, but I'm not gonna film it this time because like, you know the drill, you know what yoga looks like, you know, it's fine. Okay, I just finished my yoga and now I'm gonna go for a quick run. Like when, I'm when I mean quick, I mean literally like, like a mile. Only one mile, I said. It'll be easy, I said. Okay, hello, welcome to Maddie's um, baking or cooking corner. This morning, I'm gonna make some oatmeal. Um, okay, so basically what I did is I just put a little bit of raspberries in my oatmeal. Maybe I would put like a banana or something, but I don't have a banana. Okay, so before school, I'm just working on a little presentation that I'm gonna do today in one of my classes about the upcoming election which i feel like i'm going to be talking about this presentation i'm going to be talking about the election so much in my classes probably um so i'm just preparing this it's super short i only have about 20 minutes because the kids have a test can't wait to talk about this i think it'll be really fun and i hope the hope the kids like it okay really quickly i showered and made lunch i had like a salad um with some sweet potatoes which was really good and I showered like put on a little bit of makeup I literally am only wearing some mascara because there's no point in doing anything you know down here so what I'm wearing is this white blouse um tucked into these like orange what are they like corduroy pants and then a blazer necklaces some earrings and this is like literally very um representative of what I will wear typically while I'm teaching. I have two classes this afternoon, one at 2.30, one at 3.30, and the one at 3.30 is the one that I will be doing the presentation in. The one at 2.30, this is my first class with the teacher, so I'll probably just do like introductions and things like that. And there's just like a few things that I, I feel like, I'm like a little stressed right now. Um, There's just like a few administrative things that I feel like I didn't do correctly, so I need to like rectify that and you know, just a few things going on, okay? So, um, I am going to get my bag ready. It's almost two o'clock, which means I need to leave pretty soon. And yeah, and then I'll go go ahead and go to the go to the school. All right, guys. Sorry for the horrible lighting, but um, I clip my windows closed, so I don't want time to open it because. So now, I'm about to go interview someone for a project I'm starting. A new video that I'm like really 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 excited for. Um, I actually have kind of a busy night. I need to go to FNAC, I need to do the interview, I need to finish this video tonight and upload it and I'm just like have so much to do. Um, but school was really good, it was really fun, the kids are super nice, um, I love the teachers I work with, so everything's, you know, everything's good right now. So I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna head to FNAC now and see if I can find something. Okay, so I was not able to find a microphone, so hopefully I can get good audio, but I'm just sitting here like waiting for my my interview. Okay, well, um, it's Friday night, so I'm gonna... No, read I'm the gonna... video. <laughs> Alright guys, well, it is Friday night, and so that means I'm gonna leave off the vlog. My interview went really well. I'm here with Khalil, and we're gonna make dinner and watch The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. It's Khalil's first time watching it. Like he's on the fourth season, but it's his first time watching it. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Toodles.